So this is very fresh and I made some changes for Russia as well to be uh, local and relevant. So one of the important things about Mapillary is uh, we seek to empower OpenStreetMap users by providing not just images, but also tools. And I'll tell you about some of our current tools and future tools. If you aren't familiar with Mapillary, uh, I'll show you some of our coverage. Uh, this is in Moscow and I think Vladimir. And you can see it's quite dense here. And we are a platform for street level imagery, similar to something like Google Street View, but anyone can add to it uh, with a mobile phone application. We have applications for Android, iOS. And when you upload imagery to Mapillary, we are using a computer vision algorithm. Uh, so AI to analyze for uh, objects in the images, and these become map data. Change. So we are uh, a new approach to Street View because we accept any camera. So you can see uh, GoPro, 360 cameras, uh, mobile phones with mounts on bicycle, on automobile, helmets. And all of these you can uh, upload to Mapillary. It takes probably one day maximum and you will see your photos on the map. And this is an example from my hometown. Uh, it's in Montana in USA. So most of these images on the map are from me. And after they go through the system, you can see locations of what is detected in the images. So here I was looking for crosswalks, like a zebra crosswalk. And so we see them uh, located in these images. So we can begin to use this to build OpenStreetMap and other uh, geospatial data. So for another example, I'll take you to California. This is from OpenStreetMap, the city streets of Santa Monica. This is with Mapillary, uh, one of our users here on the beach. And after uploading the photos to Mapillary, we do an analysis. We see the location of street signs. So these are stop sign. And this stop sign is somewhere here. So it shows different images, but the same stop sign. And because of uh, two or more images, we can locate where that stop sign is. And on OpenStreetMap, you can turn on uh, in the ID editor, the mapillary data with traffic sign overlay and photo overlay. So you can see the location of these signs and it helps to add this data to OpenStreetMap for, uh, for automobiles, for parking, for bicycles. Through the whole world, we have over 200 million photos. Uh, 100 million photos just in this year, 2017. And most of these come from users, uh, not from groups or companies. But we do some work with government, business, and nonprofit. So, uh, oops, broken link. But in Lithuania, the, I wonder if that works. The Transport Authority contributed 25,000 kilometers of images for all the highways. It's now on Mapillary and can be used for uh, improving maps. In Australia, uh, the state of Victoria, they also contributed around 22,000 kilometers of images to our map. They do this each year. So next year they will do, again, the same photos. Um, or new photos in the same location. And we can see changes over time on the map. Amsterdam, uh, the city uploaded 800,000 360 images from high quality cameras. So now the entire city of Amsterdam is on Mapillary 
And this is OpenStreetMap, where you can see the images and use it to add new data to the map. In Canada, we did a challenge um, with a local OpenStreetMap and bicycle group. And the group, over about four weeks, 28 days, added 400,000 new images, each as individual users total. So in our challenge, we have a leaderboard. It tells number of images, number of kilometers. And you can use this slider to see change over time. And now they are having a mapathon where they will edit OpenStreetMap using the images. And the city government of Ottawa will be using this for uh, improved maps for bicycles in 2018. And here we are in Moscow. Uh, in Moscow, we also had the same challenge. We did it in October this month, which uh, is very difficult with the weather in Moscow. And we see that Nonetheless, we had several users, some of them here with us, who contributed. And we added in purple, this dark colors, as new images in Moscow. So it's very impressive, uh, especially from just a small group of people adding this much. And in green, you can see all the historical images on Mapillary from Moscow. So we'll look at what's new for tools. Uh, we have here, these are placement tools. Let's see. I think it will animate. It's a GIF image. It's thinking. Okay. So this, you can click in the, uh, the image. It will add a point to uh, the image as well as to the map. So this one, we are adding street lamps. And the street lamp is added here. And this tool we want to put into OpenStreetMap. Uh, it's also testing in ArcGIS and QGIS for people who use this. And what we do is we match um, a piece of the image, the pixels, to longitude and latitude. And then this allows us to correspond between image and map. And another example of our image detections uh, we saw previously, where we'll be able to uh, search for a category of interest. So we turn on, this is our website. We search for crosswalks. And now we can see where they are located in the city. And we can preview the image. And the image will show location of crosswalks with color coding, saying this is the crosswalk on the map. So this one also will be an open street map as a layer you can put on the map, and it will help guide you for where to add new data. This feature also new is called tagging. In tagging, uh, we, are, uh, we are allowing you to Draw in the image. Oops, not that one. <laughs> this one's the point cloud, similar to LiDAR in 3D. We'll come back to that one. If it's made by the photo. By the photo. Yeah. <laughs> now I froze it. Let's see. Oh, it's okay. But uh, this one we'll get to. We, we do this in the database with our research team. But first, we're allowing users to add new tags. So this one uh, is a trash can. And this lets the user mark objects that our uh, artificial intelligence did not recognize. And we use this as training data to make our algorithm improved. And also, you can then search on the map for your custom tags that you've added and use this in OpenStreetMap or other platforms to uh, to view your geographic data from photos. So key to this is customization. And so this is the database. We're matching pixels between photos. 
We can tell because of several photos in the same place, we see a trash can, we recognize it's the same object, and we locate where it is in 3D space. And as a result, we can give it back as a GeoJSON, which tells you the location of that data. And this shows the color coding, automobiles, buildings, road, so we know what's different from one another. And uh, all of this is the model that allows us to go from just a still image or 360 image to map data. Uh, if you look on vimeo.com video website, we have many videos uh, similar to this one. So it's vimeo.com slash mapillary. Uh, here is a preview from QGIS. Uh, this is just a simple mapillary tool for viewing the images. These are filters. And we'll also allow you to uh, click in the map to add data to the map, uh, as you saw before. Uh, we integrated with Android application for Osmond. So you can see mapillary location when navigating. You can use this to guide you if you're trying to add images. You can see where no images exist, so go here. And you can see points of interest, so bicycle rental, uh, with mapillary photos matching on Osmond. And this is all based on OpenStreetMap data. And so we'll talk about mapping Russia. Uh, so here's a closer look at Moscow. We have some statistics, some interesting. So we calculate about 20% of Moscow is uh, mapped with images on Mapillary. And we look at for pedestrian walking, uh, for bicycles, and then total. Uh, sorry, this one is automobiles, walking, bicycle, and total about almost 18%. Uh, Vladimir is almost more than twice as much. And uh, you can see this one is very detailed. Uh, someone has covered even very small streets here. So we see a lot of progress in these areas. Uh, St. Petersburg, much different. So we have just some in the very central area of St. Petersburg, uh, mostly maybe touristic areas, and some around the edge in neighborhoods. So this one is uh, a little slower. It's only 5% map, but it's still a, a high number of photos, uh, as well as a number of kilometers. Uh, Volgograd, also about the same as Moscow overall, but very much detail along the river and main parts of the city, especially major roads. Uh, Rostov, we see definitely very high detail in the downtown, so we have lots of activity here. And that's 25% map. Uh, Ekaterinburg, I don't have the statistics, but you can see also it's very good detail. And one of our stronger cities in Russia. Uh, Far East, we don't have very much, just a few. Uh, Novosibirsk is nothing. So <laughs> some others like this. Uh, Sochi is some pieces. Um, I think we have some in Sochi on the, on the ski resort also. And I'm hoping to see this winter people will add across Russia and the world some uh, skiing photos from Apollary. So just uh, a final piece of presentation is you can go to this link and we have a submission form and we can send an uh, automobile mount for your phone or bicycle. We send these for free. So just send your information and we mail these out uh, each month to users. Uh, if you have questions, my email is here. And uh, last one to add is uh, mapillary.com slash developer. If you're interested in API resources, uh, as well as vector tiles, any custom resources for developers to map. Uh, those are available there. And my specialty is to work with developers. So always you can email me, no problem. I'll be, be helpful with you.
And that's all. Anyone have questions? Anything to look at? Yes. I just have a comment. You know, there's one guy who got this handle for, this for bicycle handlebar, and he just his camera did not could not focus. He's shaking. shaking. Yeah. And that's I think the only guy in Austria who's tried it. <laughs> <laughs> the others uh, consider it useless. Yeah. And also we have uh, two GIS application headquarters there, so it's the best. Uh, web maps. Everybody says, uh, "Why do you need OpenStreetMap?" <laughs> True. You cannot make anyone draw or send. Yeah, lots of people are. We have this problem with U.S. Uh, state government, is they believe the OpenStreetMap data is not from authority. So there's lots of activity there to convince them that it's uh, more valuable, newer data than that. <coughs> Um, but for this mounts, um, for advanced mapping, there's one that's similar, but uh, it's made for GoPro, and it becomes very stable. But I think the problem with this one is it doesn't have a, kind of a gyro optic mechanism. So those ones become very expensive, but because this one's for free, that's why we can afford to send them to people. Uh, we have some recommendations for better ones if you if you want to purchase your own. I have the same problems. It's um, not about the camera mount. It's more about the camera. The the phone camera. Do you know if it's Android or yeah? yeah. Android. Okay. Hmm. I have built uh, images from the Android phone and then um, pretty good images from the phone from the same mount. Interesting. We have to determine also if it's because of our application and not just the camera, but I think there's nothing we can do different. Yeah. Other questions? Do you cooperate with Skynet? With those AI? Say again? Do you cooperate with Skynet with those AI? Uh, we have had people say this <laughs> in many countries. <laughs> And we, uh, we're not hiding anything. <laughs> there is no scanner. But our, our research team is in Austria. And I tell them I think they are developing uh, something like Skynet. But they won't tell me. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think you, uh, you, you know what uh, people do with your maps. And if you are competing with a Google Map, for example, with a Microsoft or others, mm -hmm. uh, you think what the best feature of your uh, tool are uh, people for in use? I think, um, or do, did you finish? Yeah. yeah, so I think one of the best things is we have uh, more frequent updates. So for Google Maps, a common problem is the images are old, like three years, five years, or even just one year. So for some projects, this is a problem. And you can use Mapillary just to show uh, photographic evidence of change. Uh, with Microsoft, we are actually working with them now. And Microsoft, uh, first they donated images for uh, hurricane disasters in the US. And then they are considering future uh, images to put on Mapillary, uh, just because Microsoft, uh, it's better for them to reach OpenStreetMap through our platform. So one thing is we can also take images from many sources, professional or casual, and put them for, uh, for common access.